Triple Threat Interviews, and we're here with Michael from Honor Society. Hey, hey, it's a place. It's a place. Okay, so we're going to start it off with, who is your biggest musical inspiration? Um, my biggest musical inspiration is probably Prince, because um, that was just the music that was just really popular when I was really little, so it was just always on the radio, and um, I just think he's the most talented person ever. He can sing, he can dance, he can like, play awesome guitar, so probably friends. If I, had, if I had to pick one, but there's so many influences. Okay, um, what started your interest in music? Um, I think my interest really started because my parents really loved music. They uh, always had music on in the house. Ne like, neither of them played any instruments, but they just really loved music. Like, my dad went to Woodstock. And, Love Beatles and Led Zeppelin, so just their love of music just kind of rubbed off on me, and then I think, you know, just the interest to pick it up and, and to do it. How did you get your name for the band? The band name, um, Honor Society was, you know, we weren't always called Honor Society, we had other bad names like Airborne and like Shadow Box, and all these really <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid names. Um, but basically, uh, we needed a new name because a lot of those other names we found out were, as we started to get a little bigger, we found out were taken. You, know, you don't always know those things at first. And then um, we needed a name, and we just, it just it was like one of the, like, you know, 10 or 15 names we had on the list that we had sort of brainstormed. And we just really liked it, just felt like it fit. You know, it almost like picked us, it kind of jumped off the page, and, and just felt like it really described us just being, you know, four, four good dudes. How long have you been playing the instruments you play in the band? Um, I started playing drums first when I was eight, but I don't play that in the band, obviously. But then I started playing guitar at 15, and I kind of sang you know, my whole life, but it really started around like 16, I would say. Okay. Um, what other hobbies do you have besides playing music? <laughs> Not many. Music takes up a lot, of, a lot of my life, which I wouldn't change for anything. But, um, I like to run. You know, all four of us like to run or work out or do those kinds of things. I like to read. I like to paint. Um, I love watching ridiculousness as it's my new, like, absolute obsession. Um, absolute obsession. I'm obsessed with ridiculousness. So, That's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm, just I'm trying to actually log, I want to host it when Rob Beard wants to, like, go on to another show. So, this is my audition to you. <laughs> when did you form the band? The band started, it's, we're almost coming up on a 10 year anniversary, it's been that long, yeah, that's, you know, a lot of bands, you know, are together a lot longer than people would actually think. Um, but Jay and I started, you know, really starting the concept of Modern Society probably in like 2003 or four, something like that. So, but the four of us that you guys know Modern Society as, like me, Andy, Jay, and Alex, that's been, it'll be four, four or five years in August, actually. What genre of music do you consider your work to be? Um, I mean, we always, we always like to say, I mean, we're rock bands. We are a rock band. It's just what we are. But I think we make poppy music. I think there's an element of soul in it. So it's kind of like a mishmash of a, a bunch of stuff. And that's why I, I like, I feel like Honor Society has a sound. And, um, you know, hearing other bands coming up, I feel like, you know, you know I feel like we've influenced people to kind of do that kind of thing. So it feels good. Okay. Um, what's the biggest challenge for you guys, like, as a band? Um, biggest challenge? I mean, the whole music industry is challenging. Um, it's just a tough business. It's really, you know, it's a one in a million shot to even get this far, so we, f we feel really blessed. I know it sounds like kind of, a lot of people say that or it may sound cheesy, but it's really true. It's a really difficult business. Um, but as far as challenges, I think just keeping fans... Like, we challenge ourselves to keep fans <coughs> interested. So, you know, you know, back in the day, like, you guys may not, you know, you're like, too young to, like, maybe have, like, experiences, but, like, bands used to, like, put out an album and then go away for, like, a year and then, like, put out an album and then go away. And today's society is so different with, like, and the same for us. Like, we grew up with bands you had access to through, like, MySpace and stuff. So, as a band, you know, to keep fans interested on a daily basis is, you know, keep them engaged is, you know, is, it can be challenging, and we challenge ourselves to entertain you guys. You know, that's why we did the Gentleman's Club at the beginning of our career. Why we do like the honor system, the way for music. Why we do like free shows here and there. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite 
What is your favorite thing about performing? Uh, I love, I just love it so much. I love everything about it, honestly. I love, I love the fan interaction. I love singing live because, you know, when you do a recording, it's just like, once it's done, it's done. You can't go back and change it. So in, in a live setting, you can, um, you know, change things up a little bit or, you know, kind of put even like another bit of flair, you know, flair on it. Um, but really, it's just the fan interaction. It's awesome when fans are sitting back to you. Just the energy that you get is amazing. And I love also the chemistry that the guys and I have as a, as a live band. I think it's you know, something you can't plan for. It just happens. If you weren't in a band, what career do you think you would have? Um, I don't know. I mean, the guys tell me I'd probably be a good lawyer because I can like I like to debate things. I like to like I like to like prove my point kind of thing. So maybe a lawyer, but I don't know if I'd want to be a lawyer. Um, I really didn't have much of a backup plan to be honest with you. You know, it was going to be something I was like for sure. Um, were you in any other bands before Honor Society? I was. I was in a band all through high school and all through college called Velvet Frog, which. Uh, I don't know if you guys like Saturday Night Live at all, or if you watch it, but um, if, if you ever watch it, in the opening monologue, um, you'll see a guy with blonde hair playing guitar, like in the top right corner, his name's Jared, uh, Jared, Sh Jared Scharf, yeah, um, and him and I, we're, we grew up together, me, him, and Jay Rosen all grew up together in the same town, and we were in a band all through high school called Velvet Frog, so that was the only band I've ever been in, so Velvet Frog and Honor Society. <laughs> If you could tour with anyone, dead or alive, who would you be? Um, I mean, this the, I mean, it's like the Beatles, I guess. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like that would be like yeah. legendary, but I mean, but, you know, Prince. Again, I just think would be. I would be a fan, but I'd also be doing my own thing too. So it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> what was the first song you all wrote together? Um, that we all wrote together was "See You in the Dark." The first song we all wrote together, yeah, was Steven Dark. We really felt like it was right off the bat something something kind of special. So. Um, you could travel to any country, where would it be? Um, I've been to London and I've been to uh, France, but I've never been to Italy. I would love to go to Italy. I think it would be awesome. I would love to go to Italy. And obviously, I have like family there. So. <laughs> What is one thing that nobody knows about you but you wish that they did? Oh man. I feel like I'm not sure. Let me think. Wait, something that people don't know about me that I wish that they did know? Like we're packed. Um. Gosh. I don't know. I, I feel like if I. I feel like if they don't know, I probably don't want them to know <laughs> at this point. So I can't really. Um. Maybe that I'm like fairly athletic. Like I played in Boston High School. I don't know. I guess you know, like me and Alex. You know, when the band first moved out here, we spent a lot of time playing basketball and that kind of stuff. So maybe that. I don't know if people know that. Or maybe they do. Maybe people think I'm excellent. <laughs> in which case, everyone knows. They're totally right. Yeah. Okay. If you if you could collaborate with any position, who would you choose? Um, like today, like of today's sort of musicians. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be really fun to write a song with uh, with Adam Levine. We were just talking about Adam Levine before, and um, I think it'd be great. I think um, you know Maroon Five and I think Honor Society have a similarity. That would be the best. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, just well, Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think there's a similarity in the sound, and you know I think we'd sound like different bands, but there's enough of a kind of common thing that I feel like would be really cool. Um, what's your favorite tour memory? Oh man, probably, um, probably uh, selling out the OK Theater in New York on our Here From Trouble tour because I had so much family there. And just there's a real, you know, the biggest show we'd ever headline on our own. And just, you know, with, with being from New York and having all our family there, you know, all the moms are crying and <laughs> they're so happy and all that. So it's like, that was great. What was the first concert you ever attended? Um, when I was 13, my dad took me to see Van Halen, uh, which probably really helped with like my life guitar. <laughs> and it was amazing. It was awesome. Oh, uh, what has been the best pickup line you've used or been told? Uh, 
you, I don't really have, I don't really use pickup line. I really never have, honestly. I don't, I just think it always comes off. Like, you know? Yeah. And used on me, I don't know if that one's really used on me. I don't know. I just kind of like to just be like, hey, what's up? Like, keep it, keep it mellow. Okay, um, what has been your favorite city you've played a show at? Well, New York and L.A. are always special because I've been from New York. We've lived in L.A. for almost five years, so um, those are always really special shows because you have so many friends and family. In. But, you know, excluding those two just for the sake of, you know, picking sort of a different city, I guess. Um, I really like uh, Chicago, actually. I love Chicago as a city, just in general. The shows are always great. I mean, they're all great. It's like, you know, I love, you know Charlotte, cities in Florida and stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> what is one favorite quote that you've lived by? Uh, favorite quote that I've lived by that is that uh, faith is being sure of what you hope for. Guilty pleasure. Oh, totally. Uh, well, <laughs> um, for a while, and I got sucked in, and I didn't want to. I avoided it for so long this past season. Um, some friends got me totally sucked into watching it. Which is so dumb and literally so stupid and completely <laughs> <laughs> guilty pleasure. So, yeah, I'm not proud of that, but it is a guilty pleasure. So, or it was. I'm gonna try to not watch next season. You can't just like not watch one season and not like not watch the. I have to try to not watch it. <laughs> I picked up the new ridiculousness obsession, which I'm not, I don't feel guilty about. Um, what is your favorite venue to play at? Any of the House of Blues venues are just so great because they're, they're so consistent. You know, whether you're at the one in LA or you're at the one in um, you know, wherever, Chicago or wherever, they're just all so consistent. So you kind of, you know, sometimes clubs have better sound systems than others. It's just like House of Blues, just you know you're getting an awesome, awesome club. And we're playing there on Thursday. Good night. Depending on when this video comes out. <laughs> Uh, if you could only buy one piece of clothing to wear for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, probably this leather jacket. Because it's just leather jackets, they just get better. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about living in the LA area? Um, I'm not going to say the weather, because I feel like everyone says that, because like I think I think LA just has, you know, I mean, the weather is amazing, but I think it's just like the, just the access to, to just entertainment in general, you know, there's so many, like, I, I really, you know, I feel like for kids who grew up in LA, they don't realize how lucky they are to be around movie premieres and, you know, bands always coming through, there's, I mean, it's like a band, like, never, like, just, like, doesn't come through LA, like, it's like a place that every band comes through, so I think just the access to entertainment, I think, is really Okay, and then a last question would be, what can we expect in the near future? In the near future, um, Honor Society is heading into sort of the creative stages of our next album, which will be our third album, and we're just extremely excited about that. Um, uh, as far as touring, we, uh, we do have some stuff in the works for hopefully before the fall, I'll just say that. Um, and as soon as we have everything, you know, solidified, we'll definitely let everybody know. But it's just more of, more honor society, you know, more writing, more records, more shows, more tours. Maybe a little bit. Great. Cool. So, thank you. Thank you. Time. Yeah, this is great. And I'm triple threatened. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching Triple Threat Interviews. See you later.